Welcome back to the Treehouse Mates, Old Head Gaming here, and we are 17 days away from the launch of Evil Dead the Game, and of course we're doing a viewer requested Tuesday video, so if you like the Evil Dead content, just drop a like and a comment on the video below, and of course, if you have any ideas, there's still two viewer requested videos left before launch, drop them in the comments and maybe your comment will turn into the next video. Of course, if you like the Evil Dead, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for all Evil Dead related content, always make the march towards Friday the 13th, and if you're you're looking for a community to play on launch day and thereafter look at the description the discord is there just click on the link say hi today is viewer requested tuesday so what video do we have this week last week we did drag me to hell and the week before that we did supernatural and this week we return back to the old warner brothers network in 1992 Buffy the Vampire Slayer, released in theaters to no critical acclaim and no box office results. And it ended up being a cult film starring Christy Swanson, Donald Sutherland, and of course, 90s heartthrob Luke Perry. Now, the movie was kind of a mess right over the vision of the script. They felt like... Um, a lot was tweaked and not really brought out what the original script had in plan. And the creator, Joss Whedon, then took his original idea to the Warner Brothers Network and pitched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which then launched in 1997 with little known All My Children actress Sarah Michelle Gellar, who became a huge star from it. And there was a bunch of really cool characters. And we're going to talk about four characters that could fit into each one of Evil Dead's classes and how they would be in a Buffy the Vampire Slayer way. Now, of course, as we already know, the four classes that are in the game are Leader, Hunter, Warrior, and Support. And I'm going to give you a Buffy the Vampire Slayer character for each one and talk about what maybe could be their abilities. Now, of course... The first thing we're going to start with is Leader. And Leader would be none other than, of course, Buffy Summers herself. And Buffy, I feel like, has to be the obvious choice for Leader. She is the El Jefe equivalent of the Buffy universe and would make complete sense to go in that same fashion. Now, they made Ash versus Evil Dead Leader, so Buffy just makes complete sense to me as well. Just as you get Ash's signature chainsaw, Buffy's signature red axe would really probably be the way to go. Uh, I feel like she could then give similar buffs to Ash, like maybe a bonus to characters uh, versus uh, lower demons because you know she always kind of rallied the troops and they all kind of swarmed her anyway so she fits really well in the leader class. Uh, the next character that would be would be our warrior and our warrior is a melee based class who was the best melee in the game and that was Spike the vampire who started out as a villain then switched sides to being Buffy's love interest and kind of switched sides again and then refound his soul and so on and so forth long after the show ran its course and the comics continued on the series Spike has kind of been the wingman to Buffy and the go-to melee monster. His vampire skills have always come in handy. He's an excellent at close combat and weaponry and makes complete stake. And I think you could just make a stake because he used them so often as kind of like the main go-to weapon, although he did use a lot of swords. So swords could possibly be a choice as well. And I think his abilities could be boosting his natural speed and power or maybe even like having an ability that would be, you know, he could change into de uh, vampire form and heighten everything, like his melee, his speed for like 60 seconds. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to switch into, in, in a game like this, you wouldn't be able to switch into vampire form for the entire time. But I feel like that would be a really cool ability. And since the average time's about 60 seconds on max after playing the beta, I think that would be a fair trade that Spike goes into full vampire form for 60 seconds. Um, of course, once you've built out his tree. Now, of course, the next character would be our hunter. And the only person who makes sense, in my opinion, is is the third Slayer who showed up in the season, and that was Eliza Dushku's Faith. Now, Faith was, of course, known for being snarky and had great lines, and, of course, Eliza Dushku really brought a lot of character to Faith with her patented 5x5 five five quote and, you know, constantly using a crossbow when we do have that weaponry available in the game. And I feel like uh, she could have a very similar system to Kelly's. Uh, every time she does a hit, she gets a, a bonus hit damage. and Or you could have it that uh, 
one of the things that's interesting about having a slayer as the hunter, you could have a perk based on switching back and forth between melee and range damage. And Faith did a lot of throwing of daggers, a lot of throwing of swords. Like she never really got as up close and personal as Buffy kind of used to. Buffy was just straight in her grill, which makes always made sense that she would be the leader when I was constructing this video. While Faith, although she had no problem getting in hand-to-hand -hand combat, she kind of picked people off from the side. She even used a sniper rifle at some times. Like, she was not playing around. She always had a way of finding everything she needed, which is really kind of the key of the Hunter class, as all four of them have some sort of added ability to find chests or loot or ammo, they all have some added ability to find something, and that makes complete sense to have Faith as our hunter. And that leads the final class of support. And I, I kind of kicked this one around. I actually had to kick down to two people, and I didn't really know how I wanted to do it. Um, I was leaning one way, which would have brought in Willow, and I thought about maybe making her have a boost magic to uh, melee or range DPS for female characters. I thought that would be a really cool aspect to do, but when I settled down onto it, the only person I thought at the end of the night who could really be the support class, and I had to go with and of course, school librarian, watcher of the Slayers, Rupert Giles. Now, it kind of made sense to me as I was thinking about Buffy. And of course, the thing about the support class is they all had one skill that really, you know, benefited the team. And if every time they needed information, they went to Giles. And I wonder if he would be able to find, say, something like he has a book which would maybe expose where the map was or a chest star and make him a character that kind of reveals maps by read by using his ability, which would then kind of have him as a guide support, which would be really helpful for parties, especially with the map size. I think Giles would be a really, really cool character. Now, I've thought about it going back and forth whether I would have included a actual Kandarian demon. And the only one who only makes sense would be the first, the first evil, because he kind of was ne very ethereal and jumped from body to body. But I, I don't really feel like it's necessary to include a Kandarian demon in this DLC if we were having it. So I'm just going to stick with the four characters. And of course, you're probably saying to me, old head, where is Angel? Well, I just don't like him, so I don't care. <laughs> That's simple. If I'm doing the video, I'm going to talk about characters that make sense. And I don't have a spot where I need just someone that's just known for being super broody. Like, that's not an ability that's going to help anything in this group. So Angel just kind of got the shaft. Now, like I said before, if you have any ideas for the last two videos for Viewer Requested Tuesday, just drop them in. And who knows? Maybe if we keep seeing ideas come along, since the DLC has not been announced at all, I'll keep on doing these videos. If you keep asking for them, I'll keep making them. As always, thank you for watching, and later, mates!